Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to create this looping loading animation inside of After Effects. Now this animation looks really cool and even if it looks a little bit complicated stuff but trust me it's easy to create. So watch this video till the end to learn this kind of animation and remember the drill, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in Adobe After Effects so let's create a new composition and I'll call it as main and nation and width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration we don't want much more duration so I'm gonna make it let's say 10 seconds only and background color is white color and simply hit ok go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection now we will create our ellipse so I'll choose my ellipse tool and for the fill i'm going to choose black color and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse like this now let's select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab and only align it horizontally now with the help of selection tool by holding shift i'll drag this ellipse over here like this okay so select this shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and now we don't want the fill so let's delete it and we want stroke and we will choose black color and simply hit ok and stroke width i'm going to choose six like this then press s for scaling option and we will scale it like this now select this shape layer and let's make this stroke width a little bit more like this and let's make this 120 scale like this now select your paint tool and we will create one line for this so from here by holding shift over here i'm going to create one line like this now select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab and align it horizontally like this now select all these layers and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as let's say one only because it doesn't matter to name this properly and press y for choosing your pen behind tool and let's move this anchor point over here you can do that by holding shift so it will properly on the straight line now select this press p for position and let's move this over here and you can click on this option also so it's gonna be uh, really helpful for you uh, initially we will uh, uncheck this option later right now i'm gonna apply this like this so uh, let's make a proper value to let's say 1300 on x-axis now select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and by holding shift i'm gonna move this over here press p for position like this so let's make it 1000 and let's see okay it's not gonna good so let's adjust it over here now select both of them hit ctrl d bring both of them at the top press p for position and let's bring them totally up to here like this now select this hit ctrl d again and by holding shift i'll move this over here now select all of them and let's move this over here like this now if you see this the scale is quite too much so we will adjust it later now let's add one thing over here also so for that i'm gonna choose rounded rectangle and i'm gonna create one rectangle like this then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab and align it horizontally select this and let's bring this downwards with the help of arrow keys like this hit you now select all of them and make it apparent with this shape layer which is over this one and press S and we can scale it down a little bit press V and we will move this over here as you guys can see yeah now uh, we need to do some animation so I'll select this one first press R for rotation and let's make it 45 so it's gonna come over here but we don't want that so we need to make it minus 45 like this and let's create one keyframe zoom in a little bit and let's go to 20 frames and let's make this zero like this oops uh, i forgot to create a keyframe so let's make it minus 45 initially and create one keyframe go to 20 frames and let's make this zero so if you see we will get this kind of animation but if you see the animation it looks quite weird so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this keyframe i'll hit f9 then go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph 
select this line and holding shift move this handle over here and this handle like this so if i say this we will get something like this now at this point i'll hit page down button two times or uh, let's go over here now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hit page down button two times initially then again two times then again two times like this and then at this point i'm gonna select this and then i'll rotate it so let's see it again why i'm gonna do that so because if you see after this ball touches this we have three this balls and then we need this animation so you now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna hit page down button two times for this one then again two times for this one and again two times for this one and then i'm gonna start to animate this so let's press r for rotation create one keyframe and then go 20 frames forward after this so let's mm, somewhere around over here and then make it 45 okay so select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor or uh, let's go somewhere around over here and select this initial keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v now select those keyframes hit f9 go ctrl c ctrl v select this graph holding shift move this handle over here select this by holding shift move this handle over here this handle over here select this and this handle over here okay now after that we need to again do that page down thing for this one so hit page down button two times for this one then for this one again two times then for this one again two times and then i need to animate this so i don't need to create again all the keyframes all i need to do simply select those first keyframes hit ctrl c and ctrl v right click go to the keyframe assistance and time reverse layers so i'll get this kind of stuff now this is gonna be my final point so i'll hit n over here so if i see this animation i'll get something like this now uh, if you see this this is already in a looping format but we don't want this much only we need to create some what we call let's say something like glowing effect in this ball so for that what i'm gonna do i'm simply double click any of them and then i'll select this one and i'll hit ctrl c to copy i'll go to the main animation and i'll hit ctrl v and let's change the color of this one to red one like this and we will adjust it over here press t for opacity so we can see properly select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press s and scale it down we need to move this over here like this and let's make this sorry press t and let's make this 100 properly now let's bring this thing at the top and we will hide this for now now first we will select this uh, and as you guys can see all of them are one 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 now we need to change the composition of this one so i will go to the project window as you can see we have this one comp i'll simply hit ctrl d once so it will create two and then we will create the seventh layer which is this one and we will select this two and by holding alt i'm gonna replace it with this then we have this thing which is the last one then select this two and hit ctrl d in project window so it will create three we will select this one and by holding alt i'll replace it with this now what i'm gonna do in this one simply double click to open this select this thing in search option i'll type fill go to this fill and initially let's create red color and hit ok and create one keyframe over here hit u go over here double click create one keyframe at red hit page down button and i'm gonna change the color of this one to black like this so if i say this i'll get something like this and then at this point i want this should get red again so double click to open select this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance time reverse so we'll get something like this okay now same thing we need to do for this one also initially it's gonna be a black only hit u and at this point it's gonna change its color so let's go inside this comp select the shape layer in effect and preset i mean in search bar 
we will type fill create one keyframe over here hit page down button to go one frame forward and let's make it red like this then at this point it's gonna lose its red color so double click to open select this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v right click keyframe assistance time reverse yes okay now uh, this is for this uh, pendulums uh, now we need to do that shifting animation between these two three pendulums so for that what i'm gonna do if you know we have created this one ellipse over here so i'll bring this over here i'll hit page down button and i'll bring this over here and we will hit page down button two times and we will press ctrl shift d to do cut it out and we will move this over here again hit page down button two times we will press ctrl shift d and we will move this over here again hit page down button two times and we'll press ctrl shift d to split it and delete it so if i see i will get this kind of stuff okay now select both of them and hit ctrl sorry select all of three layers hit ctrl d and let's bring this at the top like this and after this uh, which is the last keyframe of this one i'll hit page down button then i'll select this topmost layer and i'll bring this over here i'll go over here then i'll select the second layer and i'll bring this over here and at this point i'm gonna bring this one over here so if i see this animation now i'll get this kind of stuff okay so now you can simply uncheck out this option and select all of them and you can enable this motion blur so you will get this kind of animation and simply select all you need to do as you guys know that we have created this thing over here and simply uh, there are two ways you can do you can select this you can go to the contents you can go to the rectangle rectangle tool and you will can increase the roundness of it then simply select this layer with ctrl d to duplicate it and all we need to do let's simply delete this stroke and choose fill just black color let's go inside this contains rectangle rectangle path one size unlink this let's decrease the size from here and one from here like this and bring this at the top because this is gonna be our loading animation so that's why and now we have to select all these compositions we don't need them anymore to be paired with this one like this and this is gonna be my mask so let's add this this is gonna be my loading animation so from here I'll change the color to the yellow and we will hit ctrl D we will select this press F4 and we will make this alpha mat like this okay so now i'm gonna select this initially i'll or let's create one keyframe at the position create one keyframe and uh, after that select all the layers which are after this and this is gonna be my last uh, point over here so i'll press ctrl shift c and i'll make it as animation and hit ok and hold alt close bracket like this and let's bring this over here let's increase the duration to up to nine seconds select this hit ctrl d and let's move this over here so from here it will start to animate again then go over here hit ctrl d and bring this over here and this is gonna be my ending point and now i'm gonna select this shape layer i'll create one keyframe at the position and at this point this is gonna be in perfect loop so i'll create one keyframe over here now let's go to the start and we will move this over somewhere around over here okay make this fit select those keyframe and hit f9 so if i see this animation i'll get this kind of loading effect like this and press ctrl y to create a solid background and we will bring this downwards like this 
okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned